welcome back to the second video students in this video we have to discuss about the 10th chapter rural economies what is rural economies the rural economies deals with the application of economic principles objectives and understanding the development rural areas in general rural areas are geographical areas located outside towns and cities we know that the rural areas are located at the outside of the cities and towns according to the census of india the basic units of rural areas is the revenue villages rural economy refers to villages and rural community refers to the people living in the villages rural areas have problems like backwardness of agriculture rural economy refers to the villages and the rural community refers to the people living around the villages the rural areas have problems like uh, backwardness of agriculture low income low employment opportunities poverty low infrastructural development in the villages uh, low literacy and illiteracy low labor productivity and lower prices of agricultural products surplus labor force and larger population high level of migration and high dependency on natural resources and nature these are the conditions of rural areas according to the census of 2011 the population census uh, taken in the 2011 there are 6 lakh 40867 villages in india and 68.84 percentage of the 121 crore total population live in the rural areas this is the census taken by the government how much of people living in the rural areas next we have to see the features of rural economy what are the features of rural economy the main characteristic they have okay what are the characteristic we have to go through the point one by one the first point is village is an institution yes village working as an institution the village is a primary institution and is satisfies almost all the needs of the rural community the rural people have a feeling of belongingness and a sense of unity towards each other so the family also living together in the rural areas there is no nuclear family joint family system only they are, they are experiencing in the rural areas that's why we can say village as an institution dependence on agriculture they are always depending upon the agriculture in the rural areas the rural peoples the rural economy depends on uh, much on nature and agricultural activities agriculture and allied activities are main occupation in the rural areas the rural peoples mostly depending on the agricultural activities life of rural people what are the lifestyles the lifestyles of the villages the rural peoples are very simple public services like education housing health and sanitation transport and communication banking roads and markets are limited and unavailable very limited uh, sources only they have then availability of sanitation transport system and communication banking road system everything meagerly they are using in the rural people a rural people rely much on faith superstitious and traditional cultural practices they believing the superstitious tradition and cultural practices the standards of living of majority of the rural people are poor and passable in terms of methods of production social organization and political mobilization rural sector is extremely backward and weak because of their living in joint family and living with unity and without any availability of uh, sanitation housing health health and hygienic and transport and all then social organization and political mobilization also they cannot using there that's why the rural sector is extremely weak and backwardness experiencing there in recent years the incidence of alcohol drinking has gone up nowadays nowadays the incidence of alcohol drinking has gone up in the rural areas population density what is population density the population density measured by 
A number of person living per square kilometer is very low and houses are scattered in the entire villages. Okay, the people's living areas also, a number of person living per square kilometer is very low and houses are scattered here and there and situated at their houses and they are throughout the villages. Entire villages are, the peoples are living here and there. That's why their density also very low. Next one is employment. There are exist unemployment and seasonal unemployment is prevailing in the rural areas. Unemployment refers to the situation of a people willingness and ability to work but is not getting employed. They are willing, willing to work but there is no availability of job. This is called as unemployment. Unemployment also called as discussed unemployment. This is situation of people employed in excess that is over labor uh, hired in a com com company means this is called as discussed unemployment over and above the requirements if five people only uh, need for the work 10 labors are going to work the job means that is called discussed unemployment excess labor will be there the over and above requirement discussed unemployment is a situation where the people work but not increase the production but they are working but there is no increase in production both the situation are common in rural areas both the situation means discussed unemployment and underemployment seen in the rural areas poverty this is also one of the major problem in the rural areas the poverty is a condition where the basic needs of the people like food, clothing and shelter are not being met. The essential goods are not available to them. According to the uh, 2011-12 to 12 estimates, the census, about 22 crores of people in rural areas are poor and live below the poverty line. So the poverty line, under the poverty line, 22 crores of the people living in the rural areas according to the census 11 to 12 taken by the government indebtedness what is indebtedness the loans and uh, money lenders from the money lenders and uh, loans from the bank the rural people got the lending amount and loans the people in rural areas are highly indebted owing to poverty and unemployment and underemployment Lack of the farm and non-farm employment opportunities, uh, low wages, employment, seasonality in production. There is no seasonal uh, job also, they cannot available. And poor marketing network also seen in the uh, rural areas. A famous British writer, Sir Malcolm Darling, has stated that an Indian farmer is born in debt, lives in debt, dies in debt and bucket debt so he born with the debt debt means uh, lending loans so since the formal uh, loan facilities are not available to the villagers they depend on local money lenders as i told you the money lenders also giving loan to the farmers and they got the loan from the money lenders and banks and they cannot return back to the money lender that is called as debt they depend on the local money lenders who like a parasite squeeze the villages so like parasite they squeezing they striking their blood blood of the villages so the villages commit suicide frequently because of the money lender uh, torture and uh, loan providing by the bank also the bank managers and bank uh, workers also going to ask uh, and torturing them for this problem the villagers committing suicide frequently the rural income the income of the rural people is constrained as the rural economy is not sufficiently vibrant to provide them with the job or self-employment opportunities the large proportions proportions of laborers and skilled persons are underemployed and the scope for increasing their income is limited there is no scope to 
employment opportunity in the rural areas. That's why the income of the rural people is constrained and the rural economy is not sufficiently vibrant. And to provide them the job also. It cannot provide a job. The seasonal employment only they are experiencing in the rural areas. That's why their income also very lower income they are getting. The seasonal, seasonally they are getting income. After that, the three months or six months they are utilizing the income only without any job. That's why a person are underemployed and the scope for increasing their income is limited. Then dependency. The rural households are largely dependent on social grants and remittances from family members working in urban areas and cities. Those who are working from the family in the cities and urban areas, the other the rest of the peoples of the family of the rural people depending only the fellow for their all those uh, necessities and all the expenses. This is uh, another one problem, dependency, always depending upon the uh, working person of the family. And dualism, dualism means the coexistence of two extremely different features like developed and underdeveloped, organized and unorganized, traditional and modern, regulated and unregulated, poor and rich, skilled and unskilled and similar contract contradiction situations in a region. These characteristics are very common in rural areas. So dualism means what is saying here extremely different uh, features like developed. We can say the rural areas are developed or underdeveloped or organized or unorganized. Traditional or modern. We cannot say. So uh, the midst of the Situation they are living there. The regulated or unregulated. Poor or rich. Skilled labor or unskilled labor living there. We cannot say. This is the dualism. Dualism of the rural people. This is the situation there. Prevailing in rural areas. In inequality. And next one is inequality. The distribution of the income, wealth and assets are highly skewed among the rural people. So here uh, from lower to higher which is called as skewed. There are number of historical, social, economic and political reasons behind the existence of inequality. Landlords and land owners uh, dominate the rural activities. Land, livestock and other assets are owned by a few people only. The monopoly. Because of the monopoly, the landlords and the owner of the land, the hectare more than hectares and uh, 100 hectares having peoples only controlling the activities of the rural areas. What are the activities? Economic activities. It may be the agricultural field activities. Every activity is controlled by them only. That's why the owner of the land only giving uh, job to the people, rural people. So their wealth and asset are highly skewed. So there are number of historical, social, economic, political reasons behind the existence inequality in the rural people. Migration. Rural people are forced to migrate from village to urban areas in order to seek gainful employment for their livelihood. These characteristics of the development gives rise to the formation of cities. The population of uh, cities will be increased by the migration people from the rural so the rural people are forced to migrate because of job opportunity they are moving uh, rural uh, rural to urban areas for seeking the employment opportunity and their livelihood so because of this problem the cities will be engaged by the rural peoples enmity and lack of basic amenities in rural areas also push the people to migrate to urban areas so all the necessities and uh, needy essential things and essential opportunities the sanitation transport system banking the road facilities markets are uh, there are unlimited only seen in the rural area 
that situation also forcing the rural people from the rural areas to the cities this is called double poisoning by schematcher one side villages are empty and other side towns are congested by the rural people his book is small is beautiful he describes the dangers of the present kind of development like this situation like this uh, kind of development of the city is very very danger to the society he explained in his book this will be asked in your one mark small beautiful this is his book schematcher book okay go through the video fully and ready for test okay today you have to write ninth chapter understood